Hi, it's Tom from Nook Health again. I've grabbed another great guest to chat to. It's Associate Professor Lars Hibbert, and he's from the University of Denmark. And Lars is an expert in exercise and MS and things like that. So I was just going to pepper Lars with a couple of questions before he has to run off. We all know MS deteriorates. It doesn't stop deteriorating. If I'm newly diagnosed, what can I do to help slow down the deterioration apart from drugs? Yeah, yeah. Apart from drugs, uh, the, the obvious question is a healthy lifestyle. And right. that may be an easy answer to come with, but so expand we, on we that, need to, to focus on, on uh, getting a broad uh, diet, for instance, where, where you have uh, you know a lot of green vegetables and so on, like for everybody else as well. So a Mediterranean diet. Yeah, Mediterranean saying. diet, that, that is one of the aspects that is uh, filling out there. Right. Sleep is an important aspect. Well, I'm good at that. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But very, actually, yeah. there is actually a lot of younger people that that tends to overlook that aspect. But sleep is actually a very important. Do uh, can younger people problem. oversleep? Can they? You know, is there such a thing as too much sleep? No, not necessarily. No. Right. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. So, I know some that just yeah. lie in bed and you think, get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but I would say diet, sleep, but but uh, of course also uh, avoid smoking, uh, avoid alcohol yeah. in excess amounts. I, I, I've been young as well. Uh, I know that you know you go out. I and remember eat. that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, so it's not to say that you shouldn't live your life. Of course, no. you should that, but avoid the excess amounts. And the last part. Can I focus, add to that? Yeah? Avoid doing it regularly. Occasionally, we're all human beings, and we may get, should we say, a little bit pissed. But from time to time, it's not going to kill you. To do it every week, it's not going to help no, no. you. No, it yeah. can't. I mean, exactly. is that fair? Yeah, yeah. It is. <clears throat> so, and I'll say the last part is uh, exercise and, uh, and a physically active lifestyle. We know that's very important in terms of uh, improving and maintaining our different systems, muscular strength, uh, endurance, cardiovascular health, and so on. Uh, and, and it's been linked more and more to also having a healthy nervous system. So if you are an MS patient, we have a disease that affecting nervous system, yeah. exercise, physical activity is, is very important to try to maintain to to a certain extent. And there are some pretty good guidelines by also by the National yeah. MS Society by uh, from the US, by Kelp and colleagues, but it is roughly the same advice as you give to the general population about physical activity. So, so, but I would say that if you're an MS patient, I would quite stress these lifestyle factors to, to try to do as much as you can, uh, because we know you have a chronic disease that will affect your, your life and your, your, your nervous system and so on. I think I was just sure dumb luck on my part, but my neuro a while ago said to me, Dom, I think you've done so well because you've exercised so much. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's not that I set out to exercise, it's that I do things that I enjoy mm -hmm. that give me exercise. So whether that's walking or rowing or whatever, and cycling it doesn't stop. It doesn't really, it, it doesn't really, the, the, the type of modality of exercise doesn't really matter. I think, as you say, you need to find what motivates you uh, in, in terms of different exercise modalities. And it can also be walking and so on. But I would say intensive exercise, like, like you know, cardio, cardiorespiratory or muscular that are intense, that, that would be to strive for two yeah. or three times a week. Yeah, but I, I mean, also, frankly, as somebody who's done it, you can get into it. You don't have to sort of no, no. come out of the blocks doing a five-mile run no, 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 or whatever. No, no. And, but it's, but I think sometimes, let me ask you, you're the academic, you deal with a lot of people. What would you say, frankly, not all of us are necessarily into exercise no, no, no. in that way. Then you get an MS diagnosis and think, good grief, I need to make more effort. What's people's main barrier that you would say to, to changing? Well, <clears throat> behavioral change is a very complex and difficult mm. thing to, to, to do, but I would say that the best advice is to start small, you know, and have a long-term plan, but start mm -hmm. small and make small adjustments and try to make it a, a daily or weekly habit. Yeah, uh, That is one good argument. The other thing is to, to engage with others. Uh, to be be part in a of club class. or something, yeah, so yeah, okay, or, yeah, yeah, exactly. And we see that with a lot of youth person that that does not necessarily have MS or other mm. diseases. But if you go to a football club or whatever, you you also have a camaraderie and so on. So you you meet up with other persons that you can link up with. I think you get a camaraderie, and also we all know. If you're part of a team and there's other people relying on you, you don't you have just obligations think, to come. I yeah, won't exactly. bother, you know, because there's yeah. ten other people who rely on you to be. Everybody, there. you yeah. know, everybody's doing, you know, everybody sometimes find it hard to get out the door and, and go to. Do you know what we do call it. that? 
bed glue. Yeah, bed glue. Oh, you just okay. you glue to your bed. You yeah, don't okay, want to get yeah, up, yeah. you know. It's, it's bed glue. Mm. Or what? I mean, I think it was the Norwegians. It doorstock miller. You know, yeah, the yeah, first step mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hardest part is yeah, getting. Exactly. And that is, that, that's also what I meant about making small adjustments in, in everyday life. So if you have small aims over a week, try to really fulfill it and, and do it with others. So you also have applications to others to go out the door. Do you know what I do? Before I go to bed, I make sure that all my clothes, whatever, yeah, if yeah. I'm going to go, are out. So I just get up and I don't have to think. I just mm. put on my T-shirt, my shorts, my trainers and go to the gym. Yeah. Otherwise, if that doesn't happen... Two hours will pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy Probably to find tomorrow, out yeah. excuses not to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Absolutely. So, okay. Um, final, I wanna, what's an appropriate time to stop exercising when you're playing uh, Well, uh, never. <laughs> never, okay. Uh, exercise is important to do across the adult lifespan. And that that's actually applies to everybody. But mm. as I said before, it, 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 it may be specifically important to MS patients because they, we, we know they, they, you do have an, a chronic mm. disease. So that will tap into your reserve capacity mm. so it's important that you really try to maintain as much as possible over time mm -hmm. i know it's difficult to think 30 40 years ahead but but uh, that can sometimes be a good thing to try to contemplate about yeah i think you need to take yourself out of the room now and think yeah how yeah. do i want to be in 30 exactly. years what can i do to to yeah. influence yeah. that so. yeah exactly Hey, Lars, I really appreciate you giving up your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll bump into you, I'm sure, or not, because Xtremes is so massive. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. so we'll Thank catch you. up with you soon. All right, cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Lived Health will be bringing you on-the-day highlights from Europe's biggest annual MS conference, Xtremes 2022. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on the latest updates in MS treatment from across the globe.